How to set up a meeting, enable audio, video, and screen sharing. Before setting up an Adobe Connect meeting, it is important to think about the main purpose of this meeting, because you may want to choose different layouts for different purposes of meetings. And also, do you want the participants to be able to talk during the meeting, or do you want to record the meeting for future reference? Now we are under the sharing mode of Adobe Connect meeting. Please check the previous two videos on how to set up an Adobe Connect meeting and the layouts of Adobe Connect meeting. And now we are the host of this meeting room because the host name is Italic, and Karen is the only participant of this meeting. To change the role of other participant, simply put the mouse on the person's name and choose either Make Host or Make Presenter. First, let's talk about how to share your screen and how to ask other participants to share their screens. If you are under sharing mode, there will be a big screen, a big pod called Share, and you can click Share My Screen to share your desktop to the participants. But if you are under the other two、uh, mode, I mean discussion and collaboration, there won't be the big screen called Share. You have to go to Pods, Share. Add new share to bring a new pod and share your desktop there. There are three types of sharing. First, share my screen. In this case, whatever shows on your screen will be exactly the same on the participants' screen, so that the participants will be seeing what、um, is showing on your、uh, on your own computer. Second is share document. If you only want the students to look at the document and then、uh, take the lecture, you can upload a document on Adobe Connect, and the students will be able to see it. And the third one is share whiteboard. We talked about that in a previous video, so you might want to check that video to see、uh, the share whiteboard. Let's take a look at the share my screen option. There are three options、um, under share my screen: desktop, applications, and Windows. If you want your students to be able to see only one application, for example, PowerPoint, you can choose Applications. Or if you open up a browser and the students are seeing the browser all the time, you can choose Windows. But if you are showing a PowerPoint and inside the PowerPoint there are some、um, extra、uh, external、uh, YouTube videos or external websites that you want the students to see, you can choose the desktop. So that if you switch Windows, the students will be able to see all the windows. It takes several minutes to share your screen, and when you see the message "Your screen is being shared," you could just go ahead and minimize this Adobe Connect meeting and open whatever application that you would like the participants to see. This is a screen capture of a participant view on a Mac computer. At this time, this PowerPoint slide is showing on the host computer, so the participants are seeing this same slide on、um, the participant computer. The host can click Stop Sharing to stop sharing his、uh, screen. If a participant has something interesting to share on her screen, the host could perform a request screen sharing to that participant. Simply put your cursor on the participant name and choose Request Screen Share. You have to wait until the participant agrees to share her screen. This is also a screen capture of the participant view. The participant has to choose Start to share her screen or decline to share her screen. Now let's go back to the host's view. You can see from the top of the share pod, this is Karen's screen sharing. You can also tell by Karen's name on the attendees list. There's a, an icon beside Karen,、um, indicating that Karen is sharing her screen right now. And you can also see from the pod that right now Karen is sharing her desktop of her Mac computer. To stop the participant screen sharing, just put your cursor on the participant name and choose Revoke Screen Share. Two, how to enable audio? Let's first take a look at the four icons on the top of Adobe Connect. The first one is the speaker sign, and the second one is the microphone. The third one is the web camera, and fourth one is the status, such as the student could raise their hands or ask for slowing down. And for any of the icons, the green sign means it is enabled. Only the speaker sign is green, which means only the speaker is enabled. The other three are not. 
So if you would like to enable the audio, just check the、uh, triangle of the audio sign and choose Connect to my audio. An Adobe Flash Player plugin window will pop up asking for permission to use your microphone. Just click Allow to allow your microphone. Now the microphone icon on the top turned green, indicating that it is enabled. Also, there is a little microphone icon beside the host's name, indicating that the host can speak right now. If, for example, you would like Karen to talk, you could hand her the microphone, and she will be able to talk. Put the cursor on Karen's name, and from the pop-up menu, choose Enable Audio. Now there's a little microphone sign beside Karen's name, indicating that Karen is able to talk. Use similar steps to disable Karen's microphone. If you would like everyone in the meeting room to be able to talk, go to Audio on the top menu and choose Microphone Rights for Participants. Well, we only have one participant in this meeting room, but if you have multiple participants, you can see a microphone icon for each participant. This might cause some chaos of the classroom because everyone is able to talk. So, if more than one participant start talking at the same time, this may cause some kind of、uh, some echoes to the participants. So, a better way is to turn off the microphone rights for every participant and enable single speaker mode. A little asterisk will show up beside the microphone, indicating that this is single speaker mode. If you have a web camera on your computer and you would like your students to be able to see your face while talking, you can use similar steps to enable your web camera. It will open a new pod called Camera and Voice. Similar to enable microphone for participants, you could also enable web cameras for participants. So, if they have a web camera on their computers,、um, the other participants will be able to see their faces. When you stop the web camera, the camera and voice pod does not disappear. So, you have to go to pod options and hide this pod manually. Three. How to set status. If a participant sets a status, like raising her hand, the host will be receiving a pop-up message that one person has raised hand, and it will show the person's name. The host could pass the microphone to the participant by checking the check mark, or ignore the raising hand message by、uh, checking the X sign. To raise hand or show agreement or disagreement, click the triangle beside the raising hand icon on the right and choose from the preset status. For example, choose Speak Louder. Whoever sets a new status, a sign will show beside the person's name. The status won't disappear unless the person choose Clear Status. Four. How to record a meeting for future usage. Now you are inside a meeting. Click Meeting and choose Record Meeting. Give this recording a name and click OK. This red circle indicates that this meeting is currently being recorded. To stop recording, just click Stop Recording. To find your recordings, log in your Adobe Connect Login Center. Go to the meeting name that you recorded and click Recordings. You will be able to see all your recordings of that meeting. Click any of the recording name to view the basic information of the recording, such as the title, duration, time, and there is also a URL that you could send to the students who missed the class or paste on Blackboard for students to view. One default setting for all recordings are private access, which means students have to log in to view the recordings. In order for students to view it immediately after they click the link you gave them, you need to choose the recording and go to the top of the menu and choose Make Public. 
Now you can see that the recording February the twelfth is made public access. If you don't want these recordings to store on the server anymore, you can choose the recording and make offline. These are all our Adobe Connect tutorials. If you have any questions, please email any of the graduate assistants for help. Thank you for watching.